Hello friend, welcome to Stack Phi and if you help me to solve today's physics problem till the end of the video, then you get a cookie. So let's go. Hey what is up everyone, I hope all of you are doing great and welcome back to my channel. And today I'll be solving another good question related to electrostatics and simple harmonic motion. So let's get started. Mechanical and electrical processes are sometimes strongly coupled. Makes sense, right? Very important examples are systems containing piezoelectric materials like quartz resonator. Actually, piezoelectric materials are those which creates electric field due to stress applied on the material. Anyways, you will learn that in your engineering. Here we investigate a somewhat simpler situation. Okay, so there are two metal plates with area S. Okay, instead of S, I'll be using a here okay and mass m one plate is situated atop of the other one as you can see in the figure plates are connected to each other with springs whose total equivalent spring constant is k and what are made of insulator okay so springs are not conducting anything the lower plate is mounted on a steady base fixed equilibrium distance between the plates is x naught so initial distance is x naught when there is no battery involved here Plates are now connected to a constant high voltage source so that they form a capacitor. Electrostatic force between the plates causes an additional shift of the upper plate towards the downward of course because this lower plate will pull it in the downward direction. The equilibrium distance between the plates is now x1. So whenever you are applying a voltage V, the plate shifts a little bit downward. Now the steady distance between the two plates is x1. Great. Okay. So the voltage applied to the plates V is how much? So first of all, we need to find out the expression for V. So let's get to the solution. So when there was no V, I mean V equals to zero, the equilibrium condition for the upper plate is mg is acting downwards. I've considered L as the natural length of the spring. So compression of the spring is L minus x naught because in the question they have said that this one is x naught. So in equilibrium condition, mg will be equal to this one. From here, we'll be using kL. We'll be using this one in our future equations. When V is applied, okay, when the voltage is applied, what happens? That uh, there will be some charge, positive charge Q and negative charge Q here. Due to this, two opposite and equal charges, there will be a force on the upper plate and that force is this one. Q square by 2 epsilon naught standard formula. Now the new distance between the two plates is x1. So the compression of the spring is now L minus x1. So in equilibrium condition we can write that the force, uh, downward force equals to upward force, right? Now Q equals to Cv. C is what? Epsilon naught A divided by distance between the two plates times V. As I have said earlier, we will be using the expression for KL. I have just used it here. So just use KL, KL, replace that data. Okay. So this mg gets cancelled out and after solving all these things, you will get the expression for V. Okay. So option C is correct. No, I mean, yes. Yeah, option C is correct. Let us go to our next question. Now, the, this question is the important one because as we have seen in our previous year questions that uh, JE asks a lot from uh, simple harmonic motion and electrostatics combined. Okay. So, now see here. System is set to oscillate vertically keeping voltage V constant. Okay. The angular frequency of the upper plate for small oscillation is. Now, when V was non-zero, V is constant of course, the equilibrium situation looks something like this. Okay, right? And we have already discussed about this situation. Now this is the equilibrium position of the upper plate. Now it is shifted by some amount. This guy starts to oscillate in the vertical direction at some point of time. Uh, this plate is above the equilibrium length, equilibrium position by an amount x. Now what happens? Just you need to know how to write the net force acting on the body. So on this plate, the downward force is mg. The new electrostatic force due to this lower plate is this one. Of course, q 
is a function of x here because that capacitance is changing with position and the new compression of the spring initially it was l minus x1 now due to the rise of this plate by an amount x the compression decreases by a value x so new compression is this one so the upward force changes by this so the f net is mg plus this one the downward force minus the upward force again you will use the value of kl that we have already got in our previous question okay now just put the value of kl here and this things gets cancelled out and we know i mean when you work with shm equations of course the displacement x is very small so we'll just use the binomial expansion for this denominator just take x1 common here and raise this whole thing and take the binomial expansion and take the first order term only right so now what i am doing here i have written f net just take x the, just take the coefficients of x because this coefficient of x will only give you the equivalent k equivalent constant uh, shm constant okay so the coefficient of x is this one value of v we already know from our previous question and i have taken this whole thing as a constant because this thing is totally useless for this question now what happens just put the value of v that you have got in your previous answer simplifying everything you will get the coefficient of x as this one right now f net can be written as mass times acceleration so divide the whole thing with m okay now this thing is a constant this is not very helpful for us now this coefficient of x is nothing but square of the angular frequency and from there we will get the angular frequency expression as this one okay i know this is a lengthy question but uh, this type of questions you need to know how to solve this type of questions because then only you will be confident in your exam otherwise uh, solving unnecessary things uh, won't fetch you the rank that you are working for okay so according to this one which option is correct option d okay option d is correct root over k by m 3 minus 2 x naught by x1 okay so i hope you all have loved this video so just give a thumbs up comment down below and i'll see in the next one peace take care as you have come to the end of the video you get a cookie i'll see in the next one peace take care